there's some glue I've got to be working with and what can possibly go wrong there. But hopefully if I get started with the glue, we can wait for that all to dry while I do the talky bit. And then I don't know what that hand movement is. Then we can get back into our normally scheduled things. So just quickly, if you're new here, I'm Pam Duffy. Thank you so much for joining me. We are here to help you craft your career with creative marketing and artistic inspiration. So if you are a crafty artistic person or someone who likes crafty artistic persons and you're looking to make a business or an extra income selling your stuff online, you've come to the right place. Um, okay, gay. Oh, I'm, I'm guessing everything's working. Alicia, Alicia says she loves the hair. Thank you very much. Uh, um, yeah, by the magic of how cameras work, because everything else is so dark now, my face looks so white. So apologies for the scare. But right, let's let's get into the, well, yeah, let's get into this. So right, if I show this in stream, will this work? I have muted the mic. Everything should be good. I just wanted to say one little thing. Right, the next part of this involved having to iron, and I was like. Did I throw up my iron last year because everything has kind of got lycra that I wear? I did. But then I remembered I have, if any of you guys remember, who was around with me when we did the wax painting video many years ago? And I remembered I had this little teeny tiny iron from the wax painting. Let's use that camera that I just put up there. This little teeny tiny iron. So I was able to iron. So excuse me so this bit i had to do off camera because it's going to be bad enough that i'm gluing just now but ironing on camera not going to happen so the wonderful angelina fibers that we were given from the makers what we had to do was put them on a bit of oh hiccups put them on a bit of a4 paper put another sheet on top and iron and they are heat fusible fibers so i did that we were ready for the reveal do, 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 do. and this it looks terrible until you start to move it yeah that looks kind of oh you so can't see it it's like bluey green with a purple it's beautiful but anyway we did that so that was done off camera i want to get the gluey bits out of the way because i'm scared Oh, no, that means I'm going to have to do some felty bits before the gluey bits. I have slightly read ahead. OK, so firstly, I've got to trace the wing template to cut it out onto this. So we'll see if we can do that. Will the paper show? Oh, it does. Excellent. So I can just about see the template. And so I'm going to trace that. Excuse my glue fingernail. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem with dyeing your hair there's nothing I, I wear gloves when I'm dying but then you have to like rinse your hair and kind of live your life um so when my hair's drying I kind of play around with my hair <laughs> if you're watching in sign language that's play around with my hair apparently all right so we did that we've got a cut out of this and then I have to I could. Let's, let's, no, 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 no. Let's, no. <laughs> we have to hope that this will fit onto the sheet of beautiful Angelina fiber. Is it Angelina? Am I saying it right? I have to hope that this will fit on nicely so I can cut it out and get a little template for the wings. I'm rushing through this to get this bit done so that the glue will dry while I'm talking <laughs> because. Yeah, glue, it can go so wrong with me. There we go. Wing, oops. Wing template cut out. Been overflowing. Um, right. So I'm going to, I think it'll be easier if the Sharpie works on here because paper can slip when you're cutting it. So I will just use this as a little, what it, I think it'll, fit a bit, a bit better like that. That's good. So I'm just going to, the Sharpie showing, it is. good -o. Draw my little template. Sharpies are magical, are they not? They just draw on everything, including me quite often. Oh, 
one wing. Oh, both of them fit on and I've got some spare for extra. There we go. Two wings drawn. Now, while I cut this out, I have some exciting news for my UK audience. Let's see if this works. Um, I have to hide you, so I'm just going to... I think I've been on long enough that I can do this. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> I feel like a proper YouTuber now. I have a little treat for my UK audience which is this is an affiliate link so this show is brought to you by Audible um, which is books you can listen to and it's a deal for my UK audience if you sign up using my affiliate link um, which has shown up in chat or will be in the description down below. If you sign up using that link, you get three months for 99 pence per month. And with that, you get a free audiobook every month. Um, no matter what, how big or how popular or whatever, any book, any audiobook is free for forever. You get to keep it even if you decide to not run. I think Audible is $7.99 after the three months if you wanted to continue, but you get three months at 99 pence. And if you're an Amazon Prime member, then you get a month for free and two free Audible books, or yeah, Audible books that you can keep forever. So that's, I think that's my first ever actual sponsored pitch. So <laughs> woohoo, it's like being a real YouTuber. But I thought it was also quite cool as well. Books you can listen to if that was something you've been interested in, especially if you're a Prime member, you can just sign up. And if you don't know what affiliate links are, it just means that Amazon pay me a little bit for anyone that goes and signs up. And oh, that's fuzzy. Um, Wings are cut. <laughs> Just going to tidy up some of the mess. Yeah, um, so Amazon pays me a little bit, but it doesn't cost you any extra. So there's there's my first ever pitch. <laughs> um, well, let's put that away. Let's bring my wings back in. So there you go. I've cut these out. Um, there's fuzzies everywhere. I quite like because I outlined that in a kind of purpley sharpie. There's a tiny bit that you can see at the edge. I left a little bit. Kind of like that. It's weird. Um, so let's let's get back to what we've got to be doing. I want to get to this glue bit quickly and then we can chat. I'm not ignoring you, guys. I'll be. I've only had three cups of coffee so far seem hyper <laughs> um okay so what i want to do oh i've got angelina fluffiness in my eyeballs so i want to take my pipe cleaner and i want to really 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 thinly wrap this i say really really thinly because i want to make sure i've got enough left to do some fine details and it doesn't need to be much i just want to color the pipe cleaner so it's not white basically and this is going to be the wings for my dragon which I will show you in a minute I didn't really I just firmed him up a little bit more from last week I haven't done anything different to him so we will just quickly try and get this yes you can still see on the camera try and get this covered whoops covered up um so when you're twist in this try and keep it flat like a ribbon and if it breaks off like that you just hold it and the bits kind of stick into themselves a bit like if anyone's done like spinning it's the same kind of thing the little bits of what the little bits of fiber kind of trap themselves together and it all forms one nice hopefully neat little bit there we go we're going okay as I say, I don't have, I've only got this much left of the colour and I do want to put on some little extra details with them and maybe kind of cover up some patches that I didn't cover. So I'm trying to leave myself a little bit extra. I always use too much fibres. Yeah. 
so this seems to be working and because of the fuzziness of the pipe cleaner and the tightness of the wrap in it there's really not going to be a whole lot of need for massive amounts of felting to get this to stick it's just going to stay there unless you were going to like totally play with something but I would never say you, you you don't ever want to play a lot with a felted thing that's not what they're for they're ornaments so if this isn't going to be handled too much it ain't going to require too much felting oh my computer's making some bizarre noises it's already overheating <laughs> Hey, will you look at that? I got the right amount, just about. So I'm just gonna felt in the edges a tiny bit and then we'll be ready for the next stage. I am super nervous about using glue on camera. It's not good, it's not gonna go well. So I'm just making sure all the little any tufty bits or any bits that look like they might be weak are just felted in to hold them a bit more in place. Make sure that it's nice and safe. Okay. So that looks good enough. Um, the wings, right, so it's the long edge is to the center and the short edge goes out the way. And I want to fold my pipe cleaner in half. like so and then off again following what we've got here okay okay looks good right so <laughs> this is where it's going to get messy so what i've got here is an old treat bag from the dog <laughs> she kind kindly donated it and i the only glue I really use is this paver pole, not sponsored, of course, um, but ooh, which kind of sticks up on itself. <laughs> please don't, please don't make me have to open it with my teeth on camera. I'm going to have to, am I now? Excuse me. If, if, ooh, if I have no teeth left at the end of this, you'll know why. Okay, so I'm going to just put the spludge of glue that's far too much but this paver pole goes for miles not sponsored i just it's what i use um and then dabby me wing in it would be easier if i'd actually cut the top so that i could squirt out glue onto the wing and not do it like this but who am i to make things easy for myself so a bit of glue and then just try and encourage these to be friends. Come along. So that would have been easier if I'd have made that fit the same, <laughs> the same shape. But here we go. Have I got? Have I got? The something that I flung away. The. <laughs> The old makers newsletter i'm just going to make a little glue stick out of it let's see how this works so just a little bit of paper just to make sure because this glue dries clear i just want to make sure everything's bonded nicely here lots of glue <laughs> because I don't want his wings falling off. When I tried this years ago, I made my dragonfly seahorse mystical creature. Um, I tried to felt the Angelina onto the wings and it was very difficult. So I think glue will probably be more sensible. Um, right, let's make sure you're the right kind of shape, not bad. And... Loop some glue on. More glue. <laughs> it's like you've you've tuned in to watch me do primary school <laughs> arts and crafts. Watch Pamela learn how to use glue. <laughs> All right, so that's kind of there. Oops. 
and let's blue -boo some extra. Technical term is blue -boo. Actually, I thought that would be way too much, but <laughs> I need more. And then once I've done the wings, I'll do the eyes and then we can have conversation while we wait for glue to dry. I just wanted to get this bit out of the way. <laughs> Look at me concentrating on globbing glue everywhere. All right, can you just bend a little bit? Thank you. Good. Good wing. <laughs> Right, there we go. So the other thing, right, if you haven't seen, here's here's where me dragon's at. I just firmed him up a bit. And I've ooh, hit hit this right. Which way up are they wanting us to, to put that off to this? No, because I'll need the glue from there, won't I? Um eyes with a slit going up and down. This would be where some tweezers would come in very handy. I'm going to drop this loads of times. So I'm going to take his eyes, drop him in the glue, drop him on his face. Oh, they're so good eyes, aren't they? Can we, we can't even see them. There we go. You just stay put, my friend, while we go around to the other side. Drop it upside down in the glue. Yeah, that's, that's typical me. Drop it on his face. Face, rotate, clean off the glue. And wipe the excess on my trousers. Right. <laughs> now he has his eyes, so I'm just going to let him chillax for a little while. Well, are they holding enough? Yes, I can flip them over. Make sure we've got plenty of glue on both sides. And this shouldn't take that long to to set up at all. It's already getting quite tacky, so you just there we go. You just stick on there. And then if this does stick a little bit to the bag, it's okay. It won't actually stick, it'll just peel off. Famous last words and everything. Um, if anybody's using paper pole, don't get it on your clothes because it does not wash off and leaves little holes. <laughs> it's very annoying. Right, okay. So, <laughs> I will leave that to chill for a little while. We'll pop uh, this away for a minute. Okay, so if anybody doesn't know, this is the monthly maker monthly subscription box from the makers which this month is the dragon i believe you've got one more week where if you sign up for the subscription you'll get the dragon and then after that it's the next project what are we doing next i can't remember someone let me know in chat what's next um but the makers quite often um bring back these boxes later so you might get a chance if you just want to buy this you can also just sign up for a one-off we'll sign up and then cancel and just let them know you just want the dragon um so that's what we're doing um well, let's get back to my you go away. Right, I'm just going to dive into the chat, then hopefully everything will be dryish. <laughs> hopefully everything will be dry, and then we can get on with some more felting. So, Diana, hello again, Dragon Makers. Love that. Love Dragon Makers. We have, we have a collection of dragons behind me. Uh, Erica, hello there. Oh no, Alicia. Oh dear, that's the terrible screen. Does this mean it won't work? Oh, I hope it's working. <laughs> oh, it is because you said you liked my hair, so you can see things. So everything's working. I hope. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, 
Carol. Hi, Pam and the Crafty Clan. Oh, Alicia, love the hair. Thank you. Uh, Lisa, hello there. <laughs> Diana looks good. Cool. So it was working. Um, Alicia, love the top. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, I, I should have said. I, tr I tried to find a dragon top, but I couldn't find a dragon one. So this is all like dinosaurs and everything. That's <laughs> so cute. Just for a bit of fun. Rose, hello there. Um, Wendy, hi. Made it, not been here for a while. Awesome to see you. Eva, hi Pam and fellow fluffers. Hello there. Um, Alicia, yeah, the Angelina heat bondable fibers are amazing. Um, ah, and they change color the more you iron them. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Lorna, hello. Michelle, hello there. Um, Jennifer, hi again, Makers Dragon Zoomers. Yeah, awesome for you guys that were Zooming with the Makers. Really great to see you here to continue your dragon. Let me know what stage you've all got to in the chat. Um, Diana, hello there. Jennifer, hi Pam and everyone. This is my first time joining. Awesome, glad, glad to see you. Watched last week for the first time. Oh, I was so taken with this um, that you went ahead and ordered the kit. Oh, awesome. That's so cool to so cool to hear. I hope you have fun with him. He is. That This was always going to be my favourite kit because dragons. Um, oh, Alicia, you've been thinking of trying Audible. That is good timing. Um, yeah, I was super happy when Amazon, I, I have an Amazon affiliate account, which means I can occasionally drop links and hopefully get you deals and things. But when they, they said Audible, I was like, that makes me sound like an actual YouTuber. That's something that could be cool for people. <laughs> um, CJ, hello there. How are you doing? Um, Carol, great deal. You love Audible, especially autobiographies. Oh, yeah, I could see that would be cool. Yep. Um, everyone saying hello to Jennifer. Thank you, guys. That's so nice. And yes, hello to Jennifer. Um, Alicia, will she glue herself to everything? It's very likely. Yep. <laughs> Um, Alicia dying laughing at me opening the glue with her teeth on live TV. I know I should. I have pliers somewhere. I have tweet. I have all the things. They're just not here. Um, <laughs> but that yeah, that's how I do it in real life. Um, Pamela, hello there. Um, oh wow, Pamela caught a live eagle on camera. Fantastic. Um, Mr. Tamaya, hello to all my felting family. Hello there. Oh yeah, next next month's subscription box is the puffin. That I've seen pictures of that. That is looking so much fun. Um, I'm looking forward to the <laughs> puffin. Oh, Alicia's at the point with her dragon. She's putting on a rainbow underbelly. That sounds such a cool idea. Yes, I love that. Um, I don't ooh, don't think we're there with this glue yet. Stick stick. Stretch your stick. Oh, right. Um, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just prodding the wings. You can't actually see. I'm just prodding the wings to try and make sure they're actually attaching to the wire. Um, so I think I can go ahead and work on other bits while we wait for that because it is taking a wee while, and I want the wings to be nice and secure. Oh, think of this. This is so not going to work, is it? Okay, so let's put them away. Do that. There we go. Um, so when was ah? Uh, um, yes, I'm supposed to have done the under underbelly already. So that's cool. Um, it's just going to be yellow, uh, a thin layer all the way down his belly. Can do. Um, right, that's a good good little thing we can do while we're waiting for all the glue to dry. So it's just going to be down from his neck to about here, I think. So that looks about right. Don't get your nose stuck in your wings, please. Um, yeah, so how's everybody's week been? Um, mine, same as every other week. <laughs> Thankfully, it's starting to feel a little bit like spring, so I've been able to get some nice walks and stuff. But, ooh, <laughs> I'm gluing myself to everything a little bit. Um, 
But yeah, apart from that, same as every other week. Yum. All right, here we go. Let's get this nice and smooth. Yeah, I'm, I love the idea of a rainbow underbelly, but we'll we'll follow we'll follow the rules because this gold multicolory sparkly stuff is also very gorgeous. Oh look, he's all nice and close with his eyeball to the camera. That seems to be sticking quite well. Um, I really should have when I'm sticking things on to felt felted things the thing that I found worked best I did it on you can't see them but if you haven't seen um my video of Mr Squiffy the steampunk punk pup um I did lots of polymer clay pieces with him that needed to be stuck on and I found not sponsored but I found Loctite glue was super because literally I'm, I'm guessing you could absolutely stick yourself with it super quick but I would just cover it in glue press it to the piece and that was it it was you had like a few seconds it could move slightly but basically it was stuck and it was solid so yeah if you're doing lots of hard things onto felt the Loctite super glue was super <laughs> it was a super glue um oh and i want to thank everybody who's been putting their dragons of all types onto the pam duffy's crafty friends group i still can't seem to change the name to pam duffy's crafty clan so pam duffy's crafty friends group thank you all for lightening up my week with dragons and it doesn't have to be needle felted we've seen all sorts of dragons um any any kind of dragons i'm i'm up for any <laughs> any type um so it's been really awesome to see all your different dragons this week keep them keep them coming <laughs> definitely a a month of seeing the dragon sculptures and if you need some inspiration i do have quite a few needle felted dragon tutorials on this very website I seem to have a, a thing for dragons. <laughs> so we did, you can't see him just now, but he was behind me. We've done Spyro the dragon. I did a full sculpture with the armature for like proper movable. Pl there's a word that I, there's a total, there's a word for what I'm looking for. But anyway, total poseable wings and everything as well. We did the full i think that was like a four or five part series on that um i also did a cute little one with the confetti eyes from glass eyes online um yeah loads of stuff there <laughs> uh, let's just check the chat um at least I, oh you loved all the dragons on the facebook page it's amazing i agree it's been brilliant um Eva, did you get the dragon to stand on the feet? I don't like how mine turned out. Oh, um, I wasn't actually expecting... No, it doesn't... I don't think they're meant to stand on the feet. They're just supposed to lie down. But the, the horrible and wonderful thing about needle felting, if you don't like how the feet are, cut them off. Cut it off. You could, um, you could easily do this with a bit of the pipe cleaner, the extra get get another piece of pipe cleaner wrap it in the blue to the shape you want and then they'll be a bit stronger and um, what you can do in the in the body when it's relatively firmly felted you cut the leg off and then just kind of cut a little burrow into it so the wire can go into it a bit and yeah then that can make feet feet in the way that you want them um other thing you could do the makers had a Nessie sculpture a while back, um, which if I remember correctly, you did the whole body and then um, just wrapped wire on at these points for the legs. You could do the same thing so the armature has has the legs actually attached to it and that makes them a little bit stronger. Um, but this way, I think the extra strong pipe cleaners should hold it up or you could get a slightly lighter weight of wire than whatever was in here. Um, but yeah, if you're not happy with how your dragon looks, you can totally change them up any way you want. Um, 
Um, Carol, yes, yeah, she's saying she added wire and the dragon legs. If you want them to stand, you will have to, else you'll be felting for a million years. Because there's felting's not heavy, but it's also felt's not massively strong. So yeah, you would have to felt this super dense for it to be able to hold its hold itself up. Um, that's that's just the way it's. Like if if anyone's ever doing any sculptures that they want to stand up, I for years I used to try and do. There there was a thing in needle melt felting world. People would be all like, totally solid wool all the way through, no wire at all. Like wire was cheating somehow. So I was always like, oh, better not, better not put wire in it. That's low quality. <laughs> but then I realised like, no, if you want a decent sculpture that can stand up by itself then absolutely put wire <laughs> put wire in it all the time right but this is saying um now the belly is covered and felt the legs against the body i was supposed to kind of fatten the legs up a bit but i'm a little bit i always use too much <laughs> too much color um so just kind of turning his leg in a little bit so it's a hawk because that's what a dragon's back leg would be like kind of felt it into shape if you have loads more if i have left over the fiber you can like bulk up the back leg but i don't think he needs to have really butch black back legs um, but just felting that all round He's going to be a reclining dragon. Um, <laughs> Eva, right now, he looks like he's crash landed. That sounds cute too. That I'm, I'm sure they had some flying issues at some point. But yes, <laughs> mine does look a little splatted. Um, but yes, I'm just changing up his legs and hopefully it'll work. And again, it's just holding them in the position I want them in. And then felt in everywhere. Please work, glue. Please work. Um, but the the eyes are holding quite well. I thought they might fly out as I'm moving them about. Um, but if needs be, we'll just pop the wings on at the end after we've done more details. I do kind of want to get his face done a little bit. So is that kind of works for his back legs? I've just got to. What I love because of the way the wires in him, when I try and move his his legs, the wire rotates all in the body and his head. <laughs> yeah, so so you actually have to sort of encourage them like that. But it's cute, right? So his front legs would be more. I think they would kind of fold like that, wouldn't they? Trying to think like how a cat sits and <laughs> that's nothing like how a dragon would sit, but well, good enough. In fact, what I'm going to do, because it looks kind of good with the way he's carving. I don't know if you guys can see. So one leg folded under and the other one kind of folded out to support him. That just looks like he would kind of be bracing with that leg, if that makes any kind of sense. Um... Oh, Alicia, thank you. <laughs> a thumbs up for a We Like Pam party. Oh, thank you so much. Um, what should we aim for? 30, 30 likes for this? No, not 30 likes for me and my live stream. 30 likes for the dragon kit, because I think this is cool fun. And any company that makes a dragon kit's a winner in my book. <laughs> I'm keeping getting little bits of glue from under my fingernails and everything. I'm so classy, isn't I? Um, so how are you standing, little guy? That works pretty good. Um, okay, so we've done his underbelly. Wings to come on. We'll do those markings in a bit. Um, but yes, yeah, so we've got to work on his nose. Um, Just trying to right. I do think I have enough because there's a little bit not quite covered at his nose, so I'm just gonna add a bit of floof. Is that too much? Yeah, that's about right. Um, so a couple of bits of floof to make his nostrils because they're kind of 
I haven't left enough of everything there. So how I kind of make nostrils. Yeah, just take a little bit um, and then I just roll it into a sausage. That nose is a bit. And a second bit and roll it into a similar sausage. <laughs> And then each side of his nose, I just make it into a little arch, if you can kind of see that. So I think we did similar for the eyelids, didn't we? Yeah, but I do that just to make a little nostril for him. And it's just a really super easy way. Oh, he looks quite adorable now. He, For some reason, he started just when I was firming him up, his top lip just start, started to point down and look a little bit doofusy. <laughs> I quite like that so I think he's going to be a bit kind of cute um, and then I just try and flatten this bit out a little bit make sure that it's all felted on and try and keep it sort of circular And then that just gives some nostrils for him. And I'm going to felt up underneath here to make his top top jaw area. It just helps to have them shaped a little bit, I find, before you put on the bottom part. And I just want to kind of accentuate that point on his lip a little bit. I'm probably the only person that can see it, but it just amused me so <laughs> I'm going with it and that's see when you're felting you can follow any pattern or whatever you like but if things start to look a way that you like and you're just like Do you know that's cute <laughs> then just accentuate it yeah. so he does look quite gormless <laughs> so yes so then we've got a bottom jaw to add on and then hopefully these wings are going to be firm enough because we're nearly there. Um, and Pamela, this dragon shape is so elegant. Yeah, it's a really cool, simple way to do it, but it does bring up a nice, elegant dragon shape. I love it. Um, <laughs> Jennifer, a pan party sounds good. Ages since I've been to a party. Same. Yeah, that would be so awesome. <sighs> Well, soon, hopefully. <laughs> but for just now, all we've got is you can throw some likes my way. So a Pam Likes party. We're aiming for 30 likes for this live stream. Whoops. Um, <laughs> yeah. Olivia's greeting from Chile. I love that colour dragon. Yes, I do too. It's such a beautiful colour. Um, it's, it's not even showing as lovely... On camera as it is in well it might be on your screen my screen might just be rubbish but it's just such a lovely kind of um slightly greeny blue slightly sort of cyan color but all the sparkles in it i'm seeing yellows and greens and little bits of blues and pinks and purples all through it is just quite magical <laughs> i can't lie and the more you felt it Right, is that camera even got a chance of picking that up? Nope, not really. Come on. Yeah, you can sort of see. It looks better in real life, but it's like all the sparkles come up to the top a little bit if you felt it quite firmly. And it almost gives a kind of sheen rather than just individual bits all trapped. I don't know if that makes sense, but, <laughs> but it does to me. I'm just going to check the size of this lower jaw. Other option, we could have we could have put the lower jaw out a little bit to make him. <laughs> but I'm just going to kind of tuck it in there. Might ch yeah, I might just smooth down his nose. I like that better. <laughs> what do you think? So that's the good thing we felt. You just kind of squish it about and go. Do you know, I prefer that shape better than. <laughs> that shape so just keep playing with it till you get like we all have a different idea in our head um of what a dragon looks like 
Oh, I'm seeing a bit of red here. What do you guys think of a little fork tongue just sticking out a little bit? Does that sound crazy or does that sound awesome? Let me know in the chat because we like to go off piste. It's, it's, it's my dragon. <laughs> Everybody's dragon is going to be a unique for sure. Right, let's get you attached. Another thing I like to do do um just as a type but when i've got extra fluffy if i kind of pull it up the way then that gives a bit of a smile happening here and i'll be able to smooth out those bits later but that just gives a bit of a shape to the mouth which looks a little bit sinister loving it um and the same at this side not so much fluff left over here but it still kind of works Again, with all these bits, spend way longer felting them really firmly if you want, but I prefer, I prefer nice, nice and firmly felted. We'll just get this on and smoothed out. Um, oh, we're getting a yes for the fork tongue. <laughs> awesome. Um, I just, I want to sort out this nose shape a little bit. It's annoying me so. The wonder of felt, you can still sculpt it to the shape you want quite a bit. Let's, oh yeah, that's that's much better. It looks quite serpenty, and I think with a with a tongue, we'll just again because he's a long, snaky type dragon. I want to just spend like forever working on this guy to make him gorgeous but I see I have a bit of red here so shall we try an easy way to make a fork tongue let's let's see how that works out um Jennifer sorry got to go tea's ready enjoy um catch you all next week thank you for popping by enjoy your tea <laughs> um, yes I was just thinking as I was getting ready for this why on earth did I pick four o'clock on a Sunday I have no idea but it's it's the time I've picked now and it does it seems to work work okay um it's because YouTube is totally international it's impossible to get a time of day that suits everybody yeah red really will kind of pop against this color because it's a greeny greeny blue rather than totally blue but yeah red stands out with blue and green blue and green um uh go ahead and hello there how are you today i'm very good thank you very much yeah just enjoying the chance to get to work on my dragon a bit more he is well he's a dragon i was going to enjoy making him <laughs> anyway um so yeah so just happy to be able to do that okay so we're going to hopefully we're going to work this like like a piercer just making it less <laughs> less fiddly to do make a little rectangle to start with and then don't watch everybody then snip his tongue and then i'm just gonna make these a little more pointy and then hopefully we have a forked tongue without too much stabbing my fingers <laughs> hopefully <laughs> Um, yeah, Lauren, I think the dragon would love a tongue. <laughs> uh, Nancy, hello there. Nancy from New York. Love your dragon. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm really enjoying making him. So, and really enjoying seeing everybody else making theirs as well. Um, oh, Alicia's shown us pics of the rainbow covered underbelly. I'm going to see if I can find that without. Oh, I can indeed. Um, oh, that is awesome. Right. Um, can I set this up? Oh, I don't know. My computer's running so slow just now. Um, but I, I seen it. It's gorgeous. Um, Alicia, if you could share it in the group that if, if you would like to, and then people at least, if you're not a part of it, Pam Duthie's Crafty Friends, I keep forgetting the name of my own Facebook group, 
Um, he, oh, and the rainbow fairy who's going to ride him. Awesome. <laughs> that sounds so cool. Um, all right. I don't think I need the rest of that. So pull the fluff away. And we have a bit of a forked tongue with hopefully less stabbage. Let's just, can you just, just open your mouth? There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's still too big. Just pop that in there. I keep forgetting that you guys can see in that camera too. I'm trying, <laughs> forgetting that the angle's different and I can lean right in without you seeing the top of my head. I'm loving, <laughs> loving it. Okay, so let's get that in there. Yes, that's what he's needing, isn't it? <laughs> a little forked tongue. Just trying to hide the red away a little. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to felt for a little bit just to get his head how I would like it to be because... So actually what I was thinking, I'm working on some dogs for customers just now and three quarters of my time is spent felt in their body to get the body right. And I know that that one quarter of the time felt in the head is the most important bit. The customer's probably barely even going to look at the body if I don't get the head right. <laughs> so it's the head that's the most important part of any of these sculptures, really. Damn. Gwen, she has one ear and part of her <laughs> headpiece. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, yes, I have a tail on my chin. <laughs> These big, I don't know how you manage the big sculptures without like throwing bits of <laughs> bits of the sculpture over your shoulder and stuff. They they get up quite quite close and personal. Right, come on. We haven't come up with a name for this dragon yet, have we? Right, guy. Right, clan. Clan, help me out. What is this dragon going to be called, do you think? Give us an idea of a name. Definitely is snaky and serpenty. Sid? <laughs> um, or Dino for my, my Dino top. Um, yeah, let me know what you what you think um oh alicia thank you um alicia's shared the photos in pam duffy's crafty friends so for some reason i can't share today so pop over there if you're not a member join up and i'll i'll let you in when i'm done <laughs> done here and you can have a look at alicia's rainbow bellied dragon and rainbow fairy to go with yeah <laughs> Ah, dragon names coming in. Love it. Um, Morpheus from Nancy. Gwilin. <laughs> Am I even saying that right? That sounds Welsh, which I suppose makes sense for a dragon. Um, am I close? Um, Gwil Gwilin. Gwilin. Yes, that's, I think, what I was trying to say, but without saying it. But thank you for the pronunciation. Um, Pamela thinks Edward. Edward the dragon. <laughs> I suppose we should see if his, I am kind of accentuating his eyebrows a little bit as well. I think he's going to end up looking a little bit less dorky and friendly than some of the other dragons. It's it's just the mood I'm in today. <laughs> it's, it's just what my dragon wanted to be. So he's, <laughs> and that's quite up close and personal with the camera too. Um, Nancy Smog, yep, <laughs> that's that's a possibility. Then I would have to felt him like piles of treasure as well. <laughs> um, I always think of Smog not being like being massive wings and quite tubby, not so much snake like. But I think, if I remember correctly, in the actual book, The Hobbit, they do talk about him being a big worm and a big lizard, isn't he? Um, <laughs> Norbert or Norbert? <laughs> yeah. Good question. Is 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 this 
it, I suppose we've got to decide, first of all, is this a boy or a girl dragon? That's kind of important before we come up with a name. If you hear a banging noise, his tail's now hitting my microphone. Uh, you're just... Hits, see, I'm calling him him, but is it a him or not? Right, one thing I want to add here, he definitely looks very serpenty now, but I've kind of lost a little bit of definition. I like the idea that they're going to have quite... I'm going to run out of <laughs> blue. I like the idea that they have sort of quite powerful jaw muscles. So I'm going to just add little balls of fiber just down here to pad this out a little bit. So it looks like he's he can actually chomp on <laughs> chomp on villagers that come to steal his steal his gold. So just adding a little bit more there to define his face. <laughs> but I do love Norbert or Norberta. <laughs> it's just a daft name for a dragon. Let's see if I haven't totally ruined him by him or her. Aludin? Am I saying that right? So many cool names that I can't pronounce. <laughs> You're just doing this because you guys know that I can't pronounce like anything. I'm lucky. I, I can only pronounce my own name because people shout it at me so often. <laughs> uh, Nancy Smog the Tiny. That is cute. I love that. Uh, I seem to be getting a little lump there, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit more to smooth that out under his chin. I don't like little kind of seamy bits, and sometimes it can take forever if you get a bit that starts to look like a seam. Trying to fix it kind of takes longer. Ah, Alicia, Norbert is the name of a dragon in Harry Potter. Of course, yes. <laughs> I should I should have realised we were getting Harry Potter references. <laughs> I used to read lots of the Dragon of Pern books and they had some awesome names for dragons, like totally unique names. But I can't think of anything that's... Stop hitting the microphone with your tail, little guy. Can't think of anything that's right for him just now. Yeah, I keep calling him a him. You're a him. You're definitely a him. Right there. Cheek muscles. Not as smooth as I would like, but at least I... I would sit with him and like put a movie on and just from here just spend like a couple of hours really felt in him away. Especially for a dragon. I I would totally spend a lot of extra <laughs> extra time making a dragon look good. Stop hitting the microphone, little guy. Um but Here's where we've got so far. <laughs> Leopold the dragon. That's cute. Um, is that anything I should know as well? Right. Fingers crossed. The wings are firstly dry, secondly actually holding. I'm not sure about that. Um, let's go back to the wings page. Right. Fingers crossed. Here is and are not actually stuck to have I totally messed this up? They're not quite dry yet and they are quite wanting to stick to the bag more than... Right, I think the wings are going to take a little bit longer. Because there ain't no sticking to the, to the place they're supposed to be sticking just now. Stop sticking to me and stick to there. I knew this wouldn't work when I was trying to do it on camera. Um, well, it's kind of kind of sticking. I can neaten it up later, um, but it is slightly holding. Um, unfortunately, that wants to stick to that side and that wants to sti stick to that side. So I'm just going to move it. Everything's still wet enough. 
Definitely should have got some Loctite or something here. Okay. <laughs> Wings not perfectly working. Um, is the glue still tacky? I'm going to have to pour out some more glue. <laughs> I knew this would happen. All right. Stop running. Stop running. But we'll make it work. <laughs> I should have checked in on these a little bit sooner, actually. All right. So you guys want to be on that side. So what I'm going to do, rather than glue... Eh, that's not good enough. Rather than glue the Angelina onto... The wool, I'm going to wet the wool and hopefully try it that way around. Let's see. <laughs> I knew this was going to be the difficult bit, that's why I did it first. I think that's the problem, is the wool is super eating up the glue. And this is this is a fa fabric stiffener rather than a glue, but it's just what I use because it seems to work quite well. There we go. Nice thick drizzle. That's what we want. Whoops. All right. And like that. Oh, that's, that's much better. Already I can see that's much better. It's not stuck yet, but it just feels better. And same here. Just get loads of glue. <laughs> I mean, to be perfectly honest, this glue goes for miles. I hardly, I just use tiny amounts normally. So that's why I was so stingy with it. But I'm going to totally glob on loads. <laughs> There's just always a knack to gluing things. I, this is reminding me when I first started trying to learn how to use fake eyelashes. <laughs> I, they would go on and they would look kind of okay. And then by about the time I reached the venue, they were kind of sticking at all different angles. Um, but then I learned how to use loads more glue and <laughs> glob it on. Um, and not to not to fart about with it once you'd put it once you got it stuck in your eyeballs where you thought you wanted them just to leave leave well alone right i'm just gonna make like a glue sandwich top and bottom that will just hopefully hold it <laughs> it will take a long time to dry but it will hopefully hold the wings in place <laughs> now if that don't hold then nothing will <laughs> but I think it will it's definitely it's feeling more sticky already Look at me concentrating again. <laughs> uh, 
And I think got to make sure that they're firmly attached at the sides and at the kind of point. That's where most of the stresses are going to be. There we go, globs of glue. Yeah. I think it might hold enough for what I'm wanting to do. So I've attached them on top of the pipe cleaner here. So when I go around like that, that's the way I want it to be. Oh, excuse me, hiccups, the front. Um, they're not totally even, but good enough. So now you, you, you take your glowy self over there totally would not do this while these are still wet but it wants to be attached about there that does look really good um should i wait or should i just go for it and hope they don't fall i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait so that's not going to be fi <laughs> finished but i'm just gonna go over him and felt him and firm him up um, there is um, some instructions for even more details of spininess down his back and stuff, but all right, I just want to kind of get him into a cool position. It is difficult with the wire all the way through, like I said, because you move one bit and the other bit wants to go. Oh, that's pretty good. <sighs> Trying to get it so his legs are in the right position. Bend his head up, his, his tail's supporting him a bit. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, Diana's telling me, wait, don't just try and put the wings on. But really simple. All you've got to do is put a little bit of the felt and then felt over. Um, but <laughs> I love the pose. It is really so cool. Um, yeah, I'm just going to... Firm him up a little bit, but apart from the wings, which I knew was going to be a disaster, <laughs> uh, um, apart from that, um, apart from that, that's him done. Yeah, Alicia, can we do the cat next week? Yes, absolutely. And um, we can at least make a start on that. Wow, look how much glue I've got on my fingers. That is so, so satisfying to peel off bits of glue. Yep, um, I will. I have the cat basket <laughs> outside, so. I'll totally look at doing him. Um, not sure if I'll make the basket just because my allergies are... I did not like the core stuff, the structural felt. It's a lovely idea. We used it a little bit in the badgers. Ooh. I can't pick that up just now. Um, in the badger kit to make structural shapes much quicker. Um, but unfortunately, it's just got some little fibers, which are probably okay for most people, but just weren't great for me, especially not when I've got to talk to you guys as well as as use it. But yes, um, I think, yeah, next week we can totally, I'll just, I'll wait till next week to attach the wings onto my guy, guy or girl, we didn't decide. Um, I want to, Hmm. I want to keep on fiddling away at her face just because I love dragons so much. I'm just trying to sort of bring forwards a little bit so from front on you can just about see her eyes. See, I'm calling her a she now. I don't know. Maybe she's she's both or neither or something. But I just... I don't know. I just want to keep fiddling with her. <laughs> um, Alicia, yeah, don't use the structural felt if it's bad for your breathing. I need help with my cat face. Well, I have. I've actually recorded a video on my... Oh, wow, that's really bad. That's overblown. On my little flat-faced cat. That's the easiest thing in the world. I just did that. If you need help, I would say... I, I haven't opened the maker's description, the, the, the subscription box for the cat, so I'm not sure how they're telling us. But if I remember to get the video edited, 
these flat faced ones are actually so easy to make and really cute so you could do a flat faced one if you can't make a normal one um i have been working on normal cat faces as well it's a little it is tricky i've made hundreds of cats and i'm still learning like every time um Oh, Nancy, um, but, ugh, sorry, so much glue everywhere. Using a product called Anamorph is great for toenails and dragon spikes. Oh, that sounds interesting. I'll have to look at that. I don't think I've heard of that before. Um, cool. Uh, Alicia, did you like my name, Shim? I didn't see that name, Shim. It would be, I'm assuming you're meaning a non-binary name rather than a binary name, um, but a non-binary name, Shim. Yeah, Shim's interesting too. I don't think I know. <laughs> I don't think I know where that one would have come from, um, but Shim's a possibility. Um, <laughs> Kimberly, how on earth are you not poking your fingers? Practice and poke a face when I do poke my finger <laughs> so you can't tell <laughs> um all right guys seriously five five more like give us five more likes for a um for the stream to, so we get to 30 likes I'm forgetting words um we'll be finishing up in a few minutes um I think our little dragon it's definitely a lady, isn't it? I don't know why. It's definitely a lady. Um, but I think she's almost done. I do like the tongue. It gives a bit of attitude, doesn't it? <laughs> um, so next week we will just be finishing sticking her wings on, hopefully if they've dried and worked. Um, and then, actually put that on camera, and then we'll start work on the cat. That sounds like a fair deal. Um what was I going to say? Oh, yes. So we will. Let's let's actually remember what we're supposed to be doing. Um, just checking. I've done everything right. So we will. <laughs> oh, Alicia Shim is from Shimmer. Like the wool. That's OK. I like that. OK, we might go with Shimmer. Right. So if you missed the start of my stream. Um, this is the kit that we're making, should be link in the description, it's the Maker's Monthly Project of the Dragon. Um, yep, so that's that's what we've just made, if you're interested in that, the kit will be available until the end of the month. If you're buying at the last minute for March, um, make sure and message the makers to let them know that you are signing up for the subscription and want the dragon. Um, just in case, although the puffin looks like it's going to be awesome as well. Um, so that's what we're doing there. Uh, what button was that? That one. And also, this stream has is brought to you by Audible. It's a little deal for my UK followers. Just now, I'll look into getting other. I'll look into getting US deals in the later date. Um, but if you click the link that's in the description or it's just popped up in the chat, that will get you three months of Audible for $9.99 a month. And with that, you get a credit for one book to, one book of any length, any type um, per month. So that's three. Um, and you can keep them, even if you cancel the membership after that, you get to keep the books for life. Um, so that's a cool little deal. If you're an Amazon Prime member, what you get is one month free Audible. And um, in that month, you'll get two credits, which means two free books that you can keep for life. Um, so, yay, that's that's me sounding like a real YouTuber. We're brought to you by Audible. <laughs> um, so if you're interested, click. Um, that is a affiliate link. So it means if any of you sign up with that, I get a little thank you from Amazon at no extra cost for yourselves. Um, there we go. I've done my YouTuber bit. Um, <laughs> yeah. OK, I, I hope that's all cool for all of you. Anyway, I think... I think we're kind of done with Shim just now. I'm just annoyed. I want the eyes to be seen from the front because they're so pretty. Um, 
yeah, I kind of like that. But <laughs> so I, I'm a bit annoyed that I did like that. Um, I think a dragon. I think she should have had her eyes further to the front, but I'll, I'll, she does look good from all all angles. Um, she is she is totally fun. Um, let's squish a bit more. <laughs> Never happy because because I love dragons so much. I'm very particular about getting mine just right. But anyway, this is where we've got. We will finish off next week. Oh, guys, I'm seeing 29 likes. So one more like and I can leave you to get back on with your Sunday again. <laughs> it's like a th it's like a threat. If you don't give me the likes, then the then the stream never ends. Um, uh, but yeah, thank you. all. Ooh, what just sorry, my screen just flashed there. Thank you all for joining me anyway. It's been awesome fun. Um, and I'll let you all get back to your Saturday once you give me that one, one more like, 30 likes in the street. <laughs> um, and I totally, again, if you're in Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends, don't forget, share. You can share any of your work. Now, I will say, oh, oh, I will say now we're getting a big enough group, I actually have to warn people with this. Please, I love to see pictures of your work. However, it's not a selling group. So if you... If you've got things that you want to sell, don't be posting links to shops and everything else. If someone sees something that they totally like, then they might ask you where they can buy it. But don't don't come to me with your spam. I want to see your art. I want to have a nice, friendly community. I'm not here for selling stuff. Sorry, small rant over, but it's just to keep the group nice and nice and friendly. Not for people who just come and spam and leave. Um, but I want to see any of your creations but especially if they're dragons share share the dragons um uh so diana see you later alicia thank you <laughs> uh, shim you are so cute oh 31 on alicia's seats and eva's screen awesome yes i'm seeing 30 here i have a little delay because of how the internet works but guys uh, thank you so much it's been awesome now uh, nancy bye great chat thank you all for joining in and same time same place next week look forward to seeing you all right catch you later